Good morning. It is Saturday, April 18th, and I've got a little goat here, born two days ago, and uh, uh, it's part of the weed abatement program here at Rafa Ranch, and uh, this belongs to Christy Buddha, and she has a quite the herd that is coming along. This one here happens to be a dapple boar goat, and so it's the one that has just the great uh, coats on them, very delightful goats, and so... Um, we, uh, in our devotional today, are looking at the crown of glory, and it's 1 Peter 5, and verse 4, it says, And when the chief shepherd shall appear, he shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. So this is in our series of crowns, the last one that we'll talk about, and it's for the shepherd. And so some of the things that a shepherd does is obviously he feeds the sheep. Uh, very demanding, and he's got to do that. Um, you remember Peter's uh, charge from the Lord, feed my sheep, feed my lambs. And in the world that we live in today, there is a tendency to uh, sell things like uh, prosperity gospel and easy believism, cheap grace, um, or uh, uh, to obscure the truth that the pastor can somehow be in control and we're to dispense what God has given us. Um, the other thing that he does is not only feed the sheep, but he cares for the sheep. And that's counseling and visiting the sick and encouraging and um, basically living life with the sheep. When I get done here, I'll smell like this little goat. And a shepherd should smell like his sheep. Um, then he also, he keeps the sheep. And so this is, this is probably the hardest part because sheep have a tendency to be distracted. They have a tendency to be fearful. Um, we see that the, the members have a tendency to lose their perspective. Um, there seems to be an appearance of there's, there's no concern for the Lord at all, and this is really, really difficult. And then lastly, we have uh, the issue of predators, and so um, part of the responsibility is keeping the wolf away, and so the pastor needs to be very apt in understanding spiritual warfare. And so um, uh, this is something that uh, he must realize that either from without or from within the enemy will come and attack uh, both are very very detrimental he will try to uh, destroy your character um, and oddly enough people will they'll believe that they will believe horrible things about you um, but you have to keep going on you got to keep loving the sheep and uh, realize it's the enemy it's not the people and so um, uh, teach about spiritual warfare, show the people, explain to them, um, and be vigilant. You're going to lose a lot of sleep, but in the end, it's going to be worth it. If you're a young man and you're considering the call to the ministry, a lot of times people say, oh, you've surrendered to the call to preach. No, no, no. There's much more than that. Um, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about that in a second video that I'm going to make today. You can check that out on my YouTube site. But uh, for now, God bless you, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow in services.